Hey guys, it's Gus and Carlos from Hardware Unplugged and today we're checking out the eSports Target Blaze Pad and the eSports Target Wii 2 mouse pads. Before we get started, please make sure to hit that like button to show support and if you want to see more content like this, don't forget to subscribe. With that being said, let's begin. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, careful, try, careful, try, careful. I'm not there. I'm kind of far away, kind of. Oh! I'm holding, I'm holding, I'm holding. Stay alive, stay alive, stay alive. Get in here, get in here, second floor, get in here, second floor. For years, we have been saying the folks over at Esports Tiger really know what they are doing. Their choice in fabrics and designs really show how well they understand the mousepad market. Today we're going to be taking a look at two of their most recent services, the Esports Tiger Woogie 2 and their second version of their infamous Blaze Pad. But are these two pads really good or are they a flop? Before we get into the fabrics and durability, let's get the specifications out of the way. Starting with the price point, both pads come in at $39.99. This is a fair price as both do come shipped in flat packaging, allowing you to play with the mouse pad as soon as you unbox it. So you won't need to stack bucks or roll it out to make it flat. Zero downtime and ready to go out of the box. Both mouse pads measure 480 by 400 and are 4 millimeters thick. For those wondering if the mouse pads are squishy, I'm sorry to say, but no, they're not. Now, both pads are firm, but the blaze pad is kind of weird because you can feel the design of the base on top of the pad when using hard dotted skates like ceramic or sapphire. This is not an issue when gaming as it does not affect gameplay, but it is something you may or may not notice. But I would still like to point that out for you guys. Speaking of the base, this is where I think Esports Tiger is great. It's really grippy and doesn't move on our desk at all. It kind of reminds me of the silicone base of the Glide 38 or M500. Now, according to the Esports Tiger, both bases are the same but the base on the Woogie 2 sucks ass to be honest. This is definitely something they can revise and apparently they are. According to sources, the Woogie 2 and more pad are currently being revised by Esports Tiger and we think it's a great idea as the Woogie 2 surface is really really good. One last thing we like to point out is the printing process on the blaze pad. If you guys saw our review on the original blaze pad, we mentioned that the blaze pad's color started to fade on their own. Gus did some testing on the original surface and the new one and found something very interesting that I think you guys would want to hear. With all of that said, let's get right into the video. 
All right, so we have two esports target mouse pads here. Um, shout out to Daniel from Addis. He's the one who sent out the esports target blaze pad. He also sent out some pretty sick sweaters, but it's too damn hot here to be wearing it right yeah. now. Um, so yeah, but catch us wearing them in the winter. There's some pretty fire sweaters, right? Um, so let's talk about the similarities between these two mouse pads. So I've been using these mouse pads for about what, like almost a month, right? I believe almost yeah, a month. About a month yeah, of like use, a month the, of heavy use. Yeah, like the blaze pad for like three weeks, and this one like about almost a month, right? This, a we month. use this one for the most, right? Yeah, the most part, uh -huh. right? Yeah, we yeah, we did, we did. Yeah. So similarity between the two, so they're both 480 by 400 mm, uh, yeah, millimeters and mm -hmm. 4 millimeters thick. Um, the base on them, they're, they're the same, but yeah. they're not really the same because this is this one's grippier. And you this can one's, even see that on camera right there. This one's more reflective, right? Yeah. It has this like, reflective coating on it. The other one's kind of, okay, it kind of doesn't, not as much yeah. as this There's one. a few more like rubber, actually, yeah. actual rubber. Um, and this one's the better base, right? Um, other than that, they're totally different moss pads. So the blaze pads made out of Cordura. And the Wookie 2 is made of woven polyester, right? Mm -hmm. So let's talk about the blaze pad first. So the blaze pad, this the blaze pad came out last year, right? I believe. Yeah. Um, and it was it came out last year. It came out rolled and it had an SBR foam base. Um, and it had its issues. Um, so first the moss pad will crease super easily. Yeah. I mm -hmm. remember when we took it out of the box, it was already creased. And then I tried to roll it out and made it flat, and it creased even more. It was horrible. Yeah, and when you rest yeah. your elbow or something like that. It'll yeah. crease super easily, right? So it's easily damaged pad. You can just damage it really easily. Yes. And another thing, the colors started to fade out of nowhere. We put yeah. them in the box, and then like a week later, they were like yeah. completely faded. They didn't even look like this at first, because they came out really bright like this one. Yeah, it then it then. And then like a week or two in, it just completely it just faded. Looked nasty. Yeah, and then they sent us out another one, because, you know, they were like, oh, maybe you got just guys, you know, maybe you guys just got a bad pad. Yeah. And same thing happened with the other one. They're yeah. exact, exact, exact same issues. The color ended up fading. It started to crease. And then it just, it just wasn't good, you know? Yeah. So this moss pad didn't do that, right? So the whole no, three no. weeks we were using it, mm -hmm. it, the colors didn't fade at all. And another thing, it doesn't crease easily. Like right now I'm creasing it, right? And you can see the lines, but give it some time and they'll go away. Yeah. It does, they do it go does away. Go, so it doesn't permanently damage the pad. Yeah. Like. Again, like the first version of yes. the of the blaze pad. Yes, and this one they come in the flat box. Well, both moss pads came back, came out in the came in the flat box, so you don't have that issue with them, you know, not rolling out. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they come out ready to play. Um, the Cordura fabric, this moss pad, um, we used it for three weeks, and I didn't notice it. I didn't notice it slow down at first, right? Mm -hmm. But then you put some. You we're using glass gates, right? Yeah, we're using the Pulsar glass gates yes. on my B zero one S, and uh, they're about like. A week and a half in, I started noticing that the the pad itself was already worn down. And yes. what I mean by that is in the area where I would play, um, the glass gate, it would be really slow yes. and not smooth as yeah. opposed to the rest of the pad. It right? felt like muddy, right? Like in that yeah, spot. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. it feels very muddy. And, With uh, glass gates. I noticed whenever I would play and I want to track, uh, my tracking would be very like it would almost like skip. stop yeah, yeah it would skip because yeah. of how slow that spot yes, was it was so i did notice that um if you use like virgin gray feet um i don't really notice don't it really all notice that, that much, much. honestly it's very no. noticeable yeah it's it's very faintly noticeable yes. but really not it's not going to affect you uh as much glass, as glass gates, glass gates I, I was able to tell yes uh and uh i don't i, I don't know why that is honestly it, it i mean i know it has to do with the fact that glass gates wear on the fabric a lot more and they get humidity you know? and they get you know, yeah. humidity and all that but uh i noticed that you know with a couple other pads too yes. right you know whenever so it so glass gates do wear down fabrics a lot faster yes, than it's confirmed they do. They do. Uh, but if you use a uh, virtual gate feet you're gonna be fine with this pad you yeah. shouldn't have that issue and i have and i washed it too to get should i see if they have, maybe that was the issue yeah. right um, cause I believe Dylan, uh, he let me know that, um, the mouse feet do, do, uh, get, uh, human, right? Mm -hmm. And so that could, I was thinking that maybe that got, uh, that got a dirty in on that area. Mm -hmm. That's why it probably was slow. I washed it and no, it didn't go away. It literally yeah. wore down the mouse pad. Yeah. So for when it comes to glass feet on the blaze pad, I wouldn't recommend it at all. I'm gonna be no. honest. For sure, Virgin Green PT feet are, it's the best experience to pet. And I actually, between the two, I like this one the most, right? Uh, before we get into my experience and stuff, let's talk about the Woogie 2 now, right? Yeah. So the Woogie 2, this is a very interesting pad because when I took, when we took it out of the box, it was like really smooth, right? It was really fast, really it's, smooth. Yeah, low static um, friction yeah, and stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah, very low static friction. Um, I think I had it the most. I think yes. I had to put it like at least two weeks in before I gave it to you. Yeah. Um, and uh, I I remember I gave it to you and I was telling you of how consistent it was and how durable the pad was because yes. I was using it with glass feet and I didn't notice any slow spots on the seat with this pad which yeah. is kind of funny 
um, as opposed to the Blaze pad, right? Yes. I was there yes. about like a week uh-huh. and a half in. I yep. was like, dude, broken down. This one really wasn't like that. Um, I, I did tell you that it did got affected by humidity. Yes. So humidity did change it. Yes. But it changed it in a way that it didn't really bother me. Now, I know that sounds weird, right? Yes. Usually whenever a pack is affected by humidity, it feels fuzzy, right? Uh, and the speed difference is so drastic yes. that you're like, this is not good. It usually feels very muddy and slow. Yes. This one just felt very fuzzy. Fuzzy. But yeah. just a tad bit slower than what it was. Yes. So not disgusting slow. More like just... Just slower, I guess. Yeah. Um, and you know, but I was still able to play well with it. It wasn't like yes. it got muddy and nasty, and I was and I and I wasn't able to track right. Yeah. Um, I think you were the one that pointed out too. Whenever you had it over uh, over here. Oh uh, yeah, with dude. The AC, it felt faster, and you were like, "Yo, this is yeah. this is, feels different." Yeah, because when we first got it, I remember feeling really low static friction, and it felt pretty good. Yeah, yeah. But then, like two weeks in, I remember using them like, "Hey, man, this mousepad feels kind of different," and I noticed it got affected by humidity. Yeah. Because. Yeah. When I play, it's like, it's it's weird because when it's, when it doesn't get affected by humidity, it's like low static friction and really smooth, yeah, really smooth. Yeah. And it, rem, it, res, it reminds me of the, uh, what do you call it? The Raiden mousepad where the it's Raiden smooth and this, and this fast, low static friction. The performance isn't exactly that, but it, rem, it reminds me of that because it's really low, it's really smooth, low static friction like the Raiden, right? Yeah. But when it gets affected by humidity, it turns kind of like a home control plus, right? Yeah, Where it's yeah. like slow, yeah, like right? Plus. It's slow, yeah. controlless, but not like drastically slow. No, 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 it's like almost like if you get two moss pads in one, when there's like no, when there's low humidity, it's like really good. I like it a lot. Yeah. And when it gets affected by humidity, it now it does slow down, but I'm still able to play with it. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It, yeah. It's not, it doesn't again like it doesn't get absolutely destroyed like other pads. Like yes. they feel really nasty. Sometimes they even feel even grainy and yeah. muddy. Yes. This one really not it. It just feels fuzzy. Yes. Like with your fingers. Yes. Uh, but moving your pad around, it just feels like kind of like controlled slow. Yes. So, but like not disgustingly grainy, muddy, or like, you know, or, like, incons- or anything like overly that. Overly inconsistent. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. no, 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 no. no. So, it's, this is a very interesting one, honestly. Yes, it is. Um, uh, it also, like, their ability on this thing is pretty good. Again, yes. I was using glass skates, both glass skates, I have Virgil Grippy TV, yep. and uh, the, the fabric on top of here is very freaking durable. Yes. So, it has durability. It does get affected by humidity. Uh, but but uh, but not in a bad way, uh, uh, honestly. Which is I I I don't think I've ever said that about a pad. Yeah. Honestly, um, the only thing wrong with this pad, and I absolutely hate, oh is the God. base. Yes. The base absolutely yes. sucks, right? Yes. Uh, uh, big time. I don't know what Esports Tiger did. I don't know why they couldn't get the base for this one. Yeah. Right. <laughs> this was this this base sucks. This is like a negative two out of ten. Yeah, it's it pretty does, bad. Like I'm, I'm doing zero effort here, and this is just like it moves all over the place. Look, look, yes. I'm not, you know, and it was like this on my desk. Yeah. It was like this on his desk. Yes, like this on this desk. So it, it's just, it's pretty bad. Overall. Yeah, the, yeah. The, the, the base is just bad overall. Um, yeah, the, the, this one though, however, this one really feels oh, like yeah. rubber. Cause it doesn't feel like rubber. It almost feels like fake leather. Yes, you know, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like that's how, like that's how it feels like. Yeah. Um, uh, we even try. I even tried to get oh, the yeah. powdered chalk, put it in the back, see if that help, right? Uh, the climber's chalk. Yeah. Um, it w- it kind of worked, right? For like it's like a it wanted to work, like a day or two. Yeah, and then like it, did, it really didn't do anything. So yeah, there's like nothing we could do to make the base better. Mm-hmm. So that being said, this moss patch really damn good. Uh, mm-hmm. The stitching on this, nothing we mentioned. The stitching, the stitching on the blaze pad is that it's kind of like that or other Cordura stitching, but this is like a much nicer, tighter weave. Cause this it is does all, it does look more tighter and like uh, tinier too. Because over here is like fuzzy. Yeah, 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 right? yeah. It's fuzzy. The this boss pad, the woogie two, is really durable. Cause even really the stitching durable. in this, do yeah. we do it's we? It's not fraying at all. The yeah. hell out of it. We, we use we use more time pad. on the woogie two than we yes, do on the blaze. Yes. And it's not as fuzzy on no, the stitching than it is on the blaze. Exactly. That's true. Oh, um, uh, I do want to point out that uh, me and you both washed both the pads. Yes, right? we did. Um, and so yeah, you know, so washing it, um. It, they really didn't bring in any, any of the Goliath back on both of these pads. No, like, but you know that's normal, right? That's normal, the, yes. The fabric wears down um, uh, over time. One thing I will say, and I, I remember, I remember I told you uh, that you know Esports Tiger are known for their what? Like what are they what, like like what are they really known for? Oh, like, their for designs. their loud designs, yes. right? Uh, this pad, yeah, yeah, that's uh, true. Online, I remember seeing, and I, I I don't know if right if anybody has mentioned it, but I'm gonna go ahead and say it. This is not the. The colors don't pop they don't out. Pop they, out. They, 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 yeah, like, no. they really don't. No, yeah, I remember whenever I got it, I was like, what the hell is this? Like, this is a little looks faded, faded almost, like, yeah. almost, right? Um, it's still a nice print, yes. right? Uh, the image still looks sharp, 
but the colors do not pop they out. Pop they, they're, they're not popped yeah. out. Um, you know, if you look at the blaze yes. next to this one, you, you can clearly tell which yes. one looks way prettier, yes. where the colors are more uh, vibrant on this one, and even yeah. on the other pads, honestly. Yep. Um, this one just looks very faded, so I just wanted to point that out. I, I don't know if, I don't know if anybody has mentioned that, but, you know, I'm yeah. going to go ahead and say it. Speaking of the image, the printing process on the blaze pad, I don't know how they they were able to achieve that on the blaze pad because the Im the image in this thing is really sharp and yeah, then really the short. colors stay they didn't fade away. Yeah. So I I did this weird test right. I was trying to figure it out. Maybe they had put a coating or something and then put the prints and mm -hmm. then put another coating. Cause um I'm just trying to figure out how they got the printing process done right. So I ended up getting the original blaze pad. I put a water droplet on both on both uh, on both uh, moss pads. I put like a, a bottle caps worth of water mm -hmm. on both moss pads, and I left the sitting, the uh, the new blaze pad. The water dispersed right out on the on the on the new one, mm -hmm. and on the original one, it stayed put. So I was thinking maybe the original had a uh, coating and a coating, and this one didn't. Right, that was able to mm -hmm. go everywhere. Right, but when I wiped it away, I wiped it away. The other blaze pad, the original. Mm -hmm. It it kind of like absorbed it because when I wiped it off, it left ripples. It left ripples. Oh, on the like pad. on the pad. Yes, on mm. the on the old one, and the new one I wiped it away, and it didn't and it didn't leave anything. So it's so it's actually like if the old one didn't have a coating, and this one did, because it protected it from the water, and damage, and it and the old one it got damaged. But I but, but I just get, with the but water. I, but I get I get I could see that being maybe the SBR foam base. It could it be the may, SBR foam maybe it was too. more absorbent, honestly. Yeah, but maybe that means that that means the fabric was really thin then on yeah, this one. Not yeah, quite really. maybe. Yeah. yeah, but something's going on here. But yeah, yeah. something going on. Yeah, that being said, between the two, I I really like both moss pads. Yeah, like, I, I really like I moss really moss. did right, but I just wish it if this didn't get affected by humidity. I think I would have liked it maybe just as much, if not more, than the blaze pad because. Mm -hmm. I do like it when there's like low humidity. It feels it feels really good yeah, with low really humidity. Good. Yeah. Um, but the blaze pad, this one stayed consistent throughout the heat, right? Yeah. And I was able to, at the end I was able to get used to the speed and I was playing really, really good, which is why I like the original blaze pad, the yeah. old one, right? I yeah. liked it too, but it didn't never didn't lay flat. This one however it does, the speed's the same, right? Virtually the same as the original. Mm -hmm. And I had a really good time with this this moss pad. But what about you? Which one did you like out of the two? I actually liked both, honestly. I yeah. was able to play both uh, well with both. Yeah. Um, how do you call it? I think I will go with the blaze pad simply yeah. because uh, it really doesn't get affected by humidity one. Yes. Um, or it hardly does really. I, at, at least the like the change wasn't noticeable for me to no, complain it about wasn't, it, right? It wasn't, yeah. And two, the base on the blaze is just yes. way better, yes. right? Yes. Um, this one would have been a banger, right? Yeah. Even even if it did get affected by yes. humidity, this would have been a banger. But that base just isn't yep. worth you guys' time. One hundred percent. You guys are. 100%. You guys are not gonna like it. No. Um, I didn't like it. Gus didn't like it. Yeah. It you know, over. it's it's just again. You guys shouldn't have to buy chalk. You guys shouldn't have no. to buy things to make, make your moss pet. Yeah, you know, exactly. Uh, stay still. But the winner here for sure, and uh, the comeback of the year award goes to the <laughs> real? base pet. Oh for my real? god! If you guys <laughs> like the first one, but you know those problems stirred you away from it, or you guys wanted to buy it. This is your go-to, definitely for sure. Um, Newport Tiger, good job on yeah, remaking the blaze pad. I always wanted you guys to remake it, yes. and uh, you guys did it uh, really well. Really I, great I, job. I, really I great job. I I like I the pad. Things they could do differently with this yes. one, honestly. Get rid of this shitty base. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, get a different base because this moss pad is actually really, really good. It's really good. good. Despite it's really it getting good. affected by humidity, yeah. I still like the I, I performance still, when I it gets liked affected. It. Yeah. Right? yeah, really good moss pad, but yeah, like. <laughs> Change the base in this moss pack. This is a really good. This is a really good surface, right? Yeah. Um, and then if you can make, if they can find a way to make the colors brighter, like you guys did here, you know, make it maybe make them last or something. Yeah. Try to figure a way to make the colors pop out, cause yeah, because the colors it, here are it, a little it faded. Is, it is faded. Honestly. It is. It is fading. Yeah. Um, not not as bad as that though. Yeah. No, not as bad as the original blaze, but yeah. But yeah. Yeah. So it's pretty much it, guys, for the for the uh, esports target moss pads. Um. Which one are you guys gonna pick up? What do you guys think about the moss pads? Um, but yeah, it's pretty much it. Again, a shout out to Addis for sending the moss for the, sending the blaze pad out. Um, but yeah, this is Gus and Carlos from Hardware Unplugged, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.